Chances of that happening now very low at this point, but miracles do happen. We'll get an update from those who monitor the Eagles. And we're taking a live look outside at a beautiful sunny Catalina Island on this Tuesday. <laughs> Good morning. You're watching KCAL News Mornings at 9. It is March 12th. I'm Rudy Shabazi. And I'm Jamie Yukas. Thanks for joining us. Paul Deano and Kalina Estrino is both here checking your next weather and traffic. I think after hearing much of the morning, let's go to Paul. Sounds like a better <laughs> option. And it gets even better as the week goes on. Yeah, so we, like we to hear that. Yeah, we got some pleasant weather. Man, the weekend was great. Yesterday was, yesterday was okay. I mean, it wasn't that warm. We took a step back temperature-wise. Today, we get sunshine in the afternoon. Let's start the day off and show you uh, your next weather headlines where many of you are starting the day with clouds. Malibu, the exception to the rule. We will have partly sunny skies this afternoon, kind of like what we had yesterday. Temperatures running about 5 degrees below average. Warm up starts tomorrow. Many of you will be in the 70s tomorrow, but we're not just riding off to perfect weather. We have one bump in the road. It's going to be a windy Thursday. We're going to get an offshore or Santa Ana wind event coming up on Thursday. Los Angeles, you've gone from cloudy to partly sunny over the past hour. It is currently 59 degrees. The wind is calm. Visibility is good. Anaheim, good morning to you in Orange County, where you'll have sunshine by noon, if not sooner. Partly sunny skies this afternoon. And notice we still have a sun icon at 6 o'clock because sunset is now nearly almost 7 o'clock. That daylight has been shifted to the evening with us springing forward. High temperatures today, not back to average. Average is 70. We'll be 67 in Los Angeles. Inland Empire, 65. Windy day in the high desert, but you have sunshine, 62, and our beaches, 64. We will talk more about the wind. We'll talk more about 70s coming back and how warm it's going to be this weekend. That's all coming up in a couple minutes. Right now, let's talk traffic with Kalina. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So I'm starting off with the home pass because it's looked like this since five o'clock this morning. It is bumper to bumper out there this morning as you head in the southbound direction. 47 minute ride between the 18 and the 215. The only good news I have here is that we don't have any crashes or stalled cars to add to that backup. The rest of the Inland Empire, some slowing on the 215 right around the 60. The 91 still pretty heavy. 30 minute ride between the 15 and the 241. It does pick up though as you continue on into Orange County. And this Sigler in the LA area. So as you head into to Santa Clarita. We do have a trash truck fire here, northbound 5 at Calgrove. That off ramp will be closed until 1 p.m. today. Traffic was much heavier earlier. Right now, not the case, but it just depends on, especially if we see more traffic right around the noon mark. This is a look at the rest of LA. You can see some slowing on the 110 and also through Mid City. Rudabay, back to you. Kalina, thank you. Right now, former special counsel Robert Hur is testifying about his investigation into President Joe Biden's mishandling of classified documents. Last month, his report did not ch charge Biden with a crime, but it did paint a picture that the president is an elderly man who can be forgetful. Here's what he told Congress just moments ago. I interviewed the president and asked him about his recorded statement. Quote, I just found all the classified stuff downstairs, end quote. He told us that he didn't remember saying that to his ghostwriter. He also said he didn't remember finding any classified material in his home after his vice presidency. And he didn't remember anything about how classified documents about Afghanistan made their way into his garage. My assessment in the report about the relevance of the president's memory was necessary and accurate and fair. Let's bring in now CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarlane, who is live on Capitol Hill. And, and Scott, have we learned anything new from this testimony today? Hey, Ruta Bay and Jamie, this is what both sides wanted. They were spoiling at this opportunity to question former special counsel Robert Hur. There haven't been many new revelations during the hearing, but what Robert Hur made clear in his opening statement and as part of the first set of responses is that he thinks it was germane, relevant, important to talk about the president's age and talk about his perception of the president's memory, saying he wanted to show his work and explain why he made a decision not to charge President Biden because that decision was based on what he determined to be the president's intent. Intent being the key word, he says, that makes age and memory relevant. Democrats have taken this opportunity, Ruta Bay and Jamie, to show the differences between the case of classified records involving President Biden and former President Trump, saying President Biden agreed to an interview, allowed the search to go on, and cooperated, saying former President Trump's accused of conspiring to obstruct the investigation and mislead the investigators. 
It is funny how this all becomes politicized, right? Each side takes mm -hmm. it takes something and twists it, moves it, and, and repackages it. Uh, and that we should say the hearing's coming as another round of states hold prime.